Alright, let's have a look at creating the rear wing. Now, first thing I'm going to be doing is using a pre-modeled car. Now you don't have to, uh, it'll make it just a little bit easier to get the right curve. Um, so that's what I'm going to do, but you can do this without modeling it off the car. So first of all, we're going to start a sketch on the, the rear of the car. And now I'm going to use the project tool. Now the projection tool allows me to bring other shapes into this sketch so that I can model my design. So you'll see I'm going to click the middle line and my two circles or the corners of my circle. I'm not going to worry about those lines down the bottom or the faces and click OK. Now you can see that I've got that little button in the middle there. And that little uh, point there that I have in the middle allows me to create the circles and other things I need. And it'll be right in the middle of the rear of the vehicle. So on the back edge of the fuselage here, I'm going to draw a 24mm circle which is 3mm from the edge of the fuselage. Now, 3mm is quite a bit. I've seen people get them down to as little as 1mm. And then what I'm going to do is draw a few lines here to make a triangle. And the reason for that is it's going to allow me to cut a segment out of the back of the vehicle. So we'll draw the vertical line first. And this allows me to draw it to the very edge of the circle. Then I'm going to take the edge of my circle here and draw a horizontal line out towards the side to cut the side of the triangle. And we're just going to make that say 33 millimeters. And then we're going to grab the line tool again and join the triangle. Now on the left hand side, grab our line tool again and draw a horizontal line out 33 millimeters turn and then grab the line tool again and draw the other side of the triangle. Now we need to draw a circle from the center out to the edge to finish the sort of segments that we need to to draw this little strap. Now like I said you could actually do this just in midair anywhere you like it doesn't really matter too much and you could always resize the, the circles and stuff later. I'm using the scissor tool or the trim tool to remove all the parts that I don't need. Oh, actually I need that bit, so let's put that back. And I'm going to remove that one. Oh, better grab my scissor tool again. And that one. So now you can see I've made this little sort of half moon segment here. And now we're going to extrude this. Um, now I've got this weird shark fin shape on top of my car, so I hope that's not going to have too much of a so make too much of an impact here, but we'll see what happens. Okay, so there are the two segments I'm going to cut out. Now you'll see I've made a bit of a mistake and there's a, a solid segment on top, so we're going to need to fix that. Let's uh, let's change a few things. Okay, so what I've done there is just remove um, that outer circle uh, that I had made before that was 27 millimeters all the way to the edge of the body. And this time I'm going to make one that's 29 millimeters. Um, and then what I'm going to do is extrude this into the body of the car. Um, so I'm going to uh, just go about trimming that sketch again and we'll get to extruding the car. Okay, so you can see that I've now trimmed all those parts away and I'm just left with the um, that little band that I'm going to extrude into the top of the car. And now by extruding it, I'll be able to have a, a little section cut out of the car that I'm going to be able to to use to place my finished component in once I've built it. So we're going to cut this out by 15 millimeters. Yep, negative 15 because I was extruding the wrong way. And now we have a little section cut out at the top of the car. And now I'm going to go and turn that sketch back on and reselect all those components by extruding them out again, 15 millimeters. And that's going to create the little band that I need to, um, to eventually place into the vehicle. Uh, which will make this just a little bit easier for me later on. So there's lots of ways you could do this. Um, this is just probably one of the most efficient ways of, of sort of getting that done. You could do this in midair and it wouldn't make much difference like I said before. So I'll move this out of the way uh, and then we'll get to making the wing. All right, so what we're gonna do is create two points on a path. So we grab the point on a path tool, which is um, right down the bottom here and we grab this path on the left and right hand, or front and back, I suppose, of this wing. And the whole point, or better turn those, um, <laughs> turn the construction planes back on. So the whole point here is that by creating these points on a path, 
Uh, what we're effectively doing is making sure that we can put an axis through the middle of this component uh, or this model and then um, draw the wings on each side. Well, actually, we'll draw it on one side and then mirror it across the mirror plane. So we're going to have a look at these two points now that I've created and then using the construct menu again we're going to create a axis between two points and click on the left and the right one and you'll see the little blue dotted line come up and that's an axis that I'm placing between those two components, those two points. So now I can start modeling on those once I create a construction plane. So uh, we'll create another construction plane on this. Now construction planes are great for modeling components that um, you need to put in particular places. So we'll create a 90 degree construction plane at angle. And now we've got a center line that we can use that's running along that part. Um, so let's get started. All right, so what I'm going to start with is by creating a sketch on that construction plane. Um, I'm just going to create a little spline here and we'll just model a, a sort of wing shape. now. Uh, again, you know, check your rules, make sure your cord length, make sure your uh, thickness of your wing and everything is appropriate for your particular use case scenario. Uh, like I said before, I'm not really getting too deep into this, I'm just going to show you how it's done. Um, so I'm creating that spline, I'm going to extrude that spline now out from the middle of the wing this way. Uh, I'm going to set that to 20 millimeters because, again, you know, I'm not quite sure of the, the requirements. I think it's 40 millimeters is the maximum. Uh, length of the wing, but we'll just go with 20 on each side. So when we add the other 20 millimeters to the other side, we will stay within those uh, perceived guidelines. Now, what you'll notice is that underneath the wing here is a section that's cut out, um, and by splitting the body, uh, that body of the wing, we can actually cut that component out. So we're gonna we're gonna do that really quickly. So let's just um, let's just split the body. Uh, oh no, not split the base. Cancel that. Let's grab split body and this time we're going to make sure that we select the body of the wing and then the splitting tool is actually going to be the face of the underside of that curve. And now you'll see we've created that little body under there. So we're going to right click the body over here in the menu and just click remove. And that will allow that shape under there to exist so that we can 3D print it and it will fit perfectly onto the back of the car. And with a little tiny bit of super glue it shouldn't come off so we should be good. All right, now there's a little bump in the middle here, but um, that little bump will be there when we uh, model the other side, so they'll match up, and it won't be a problem. All right, so um, let's put a little wing tip on this just to get a little creative, and start a new sketch. This time we'll grab another spline tool, I think, and draw the shape onto the end of the wing. Now do your best to match the lines, um, get looking as close as possible and then once it's there we'll, uh, we'll just model the shape a little bit to make it a bit smoother. So you grab the little points here and drag them around and get them as close as you possibly can because if you don't have them close you know you're going to have something hanging off the bottom of your wing uh, and you'll have to sort of justify your engineering choices as far as that's concerned. So keep modeling this and get it pretty close and we'll get to the next component. All right, got that pretty close. Um, gonna extrude that one out now. Change this to five millimeters, it'll probably be too thick, yep. So let's go down to three. Um, now, I mean, the thing is I wanna have a little bit of room here to do some edge modeling as well. Put a fillet on the outside edge, um, just to round it off. I mean, again, you know, it's, it's sort of whatever is whatever, but you might want to make yours really thin and we can do them on the uh, on the resin printers and make them look really schmick. Uh, or if you're going to be 3D printing it, um, then, you know, you might need to make it a little bit thicker so it can actually be done. So we can put a little fillet on the edge of this and there we go. All right, so the filleting's done and let's get the mirroring done so we can put this on the other side of the wing. All right, so uh, let's do the mirroring and grab the mirror tool. Click on the body that we're gonna mirror and then click the plane that we're gonna mirror it on and click OK. Now I've just noticed that the wings don't kind of match in the middle, which is going to create a sort of long-term problem. So we're gonna have to move these points. Now, if they're not quite in the middle, 
um, what you'll be able to do is edit the feature and drag the little handle over so it drags it closer to the middle. Now don't worry too much if it gets all crazy like that. Um, we're going to be able to change the other path. So we'll just right click it. Make sure we're actually clicking the point. That, and then go edit feature. And drag it over a little bit till it's in the middle of the wing. Click OK. And you can see now our mirroring is a little bit better, but my wing tips are all over the place, so I'm just going to quickly fix those. So I remodeled the, the wing tips on the end, uh, and I'm just going to mirror the new wing tip. So we'll just go to the create and then mirror menu, select that side. Uh, we better delete that body first, actually, because I joined it. So we'll have to just mesh, uh, sort of make merge the bodies and cancel out of that. Quickly remove this component. And we'll just mirror this side again. So grab that create and then mirror. Grab the body and check the plane. And go, okay, cool. So that's my fully modeled wing. Uh, look, it's, it's pretty rudimentary. It's a little bit basic, um, but you know, you get the you get the sort of gist there with uh, making both sides. Now, like I said, the, the main thing to consider here is that you might want to make the strap quite a bit longer. Uh, so you would need to, to model a little bit more of this of the curve at the side of the vehicle, um, and then you know you can make your your wing piece for the rear of the vehicle. Um, and make those wings sit a little bit lower in the car, which I might um, have a go at next time. But that's all for now.